Um, so my name is Wojtek, and um, uh, I want to talk about OP. So I actually uh, gave this talk a few months ago, so some of, some of you may have seen it already. So here we will have some advanced content as well. Um, so I created a library called OOP, and this is how you can use it. You just import the OOP module, and you can now define classes <laughs> in Elixir. <laughs> you can instantiate the classes and create objects. You can um, call methods on these objects. You can define new methods as well. Um, we also have this. This is really important. Um, it's going to be important later. And we also have mutability, um, obviously. OK, so you might be wondering, how does it work? And the answer, so the answer is, you don't want to know. <laughs> um, uh, the real answer is, uh, it uses macros, obviously. OK, so maybe someone could say, this is bad code. So perhaps it's not that bad. So what's worse than OOP? It's OOP with inheritance. <laughs> and this library has that. So maybe we have a shape, and then we can um, have a rectangle, and maybe we can have a square, and so on and so forth. OK, so maybe that's still not that bad. So what's worse than OOP with inheritance? It's OOP with multiple inheritance. <laughs> Uh, so maybe you have a human, maybe you have a spider, so we can have a Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, so here's some more, uh, sorry, here's some more advanced content that I was working on uh, recently. So maybe you have a post, maybe you have a comment, maybe they share some um, functionality. Uh, so perhaps you want to have an abstract class. <laughs> um, when you try to instantiate the abstract class, it will fail. Um, you can also have a hierarchy of abstract classes, if you want. You can have many. Um, OK, so um, another feature is, let's say we have Half-Life and Half-Life 2. Um, we can also have final classes. <laughs> so if you try to subclass, a final class is going to fail, unfortunately. OK, finally, uh, let's say we are building an um, Apple system. Um, so Apple perhaps have um, data, like, device, like user data, devices. So this data is kind of private, so we can mark it as such. If you are going to try to access it from outside, it's going to fail. From inside, it's going to be fine. Um, in fact, even NSA can't, use, uh, can't access this data. <laughs> um, any C++ programmers here, by the way? Um, so the final feature today is you can um, use friend classes. <laughs> so. Um, So if you are led to believe that NSA is your friend, it will be able to access your data. Um, disclaimer, um, don't, run in, don't run it in production. I'm really serious, don't run it in production. And uh, if you want to talk about it, uh, grab me later. Thanks.